the Joe Rogan experience. What is it like when you go to England and you take two days off? What is that feeling? You sit there and go like, boy, everything sure is crisp. Uh, <laughs> does it need to be? It's not bad. It's not like I'm Jones and I'm pounding tables. Yeah. I, I don't have that kind of relationship with it. But it is kind of like, you know, like remember I wore a hockey jersey forever. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people were like, uh, you don't want to wear something else? I'm like, eh. I'm, I'm, you know, I've been married for like 20 years. Like I dig in. I'm once something works for me, I stick with it. Right. Went vegan, still vegan. You know, like never really altered since that happened and stuff. So for you did me, that post heart attack, right? Post heart attack. After you, right the day you, after the heart attack, because my kid made me. My kid was like, she'd been vegan for a couple of years, and she was like scared because she'd never been through anything real first world kid wonderful kid but like yeah. no tragedies in life and shit like that we you know we did are well you getting parents. regular blood work done i just went and saw my doctor um, um what is it uh, two months ago mm-hmm. um dr Leidenheim, and uh did the stress test where mm-hmm. you know you're on the treadmill and you go right. up and stuff and then they take all the blood and, and he was like whatever you're doing keep doing it it's amazing he said i can see your heart because they take pictures of your heart he's like i know where the heart attack was so i know exactly where to look He's going, if I didn't know where to look, you would never tell. He's like, right now, there's no lasting damage. Keep going. So I hike Runyon every day. Nice. A vegan out like a year and a half ago because of the kid um, and, and haven't really strayed back. So I'm all plant-based. And I, I'm intermittent faster. I don't eat breakfast anymore. I th- I'm not going to be like, breakfast is propaganda, but it kind of is. You don't really need to eat that early in the day. Particularly, you know what? That's untrue. Thin people maybe do. <clears throat> Guy my size. Certainly didn't need to be eating breakfast. Could have skipped a few I do meals. the same. Do, I no, take 16 hours off. That's the, you, you yeah. wait to break the fast. Do you, you know. pick a time or is it as deep as no, the days you can go? just eight and 16, you know? I just, I just do it based on. So then what's the soonest you eat then, generally speaking? It depends. But I've gone, I've gone as late as like one, two in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I try to make it till noon, the earliest. And, and like by two, I'm ready. I'm ravenous. Yeah, yeah. I think, um it's totally doable. It's it's not your body gets really used to it too. Right. What I generally do is uh, I get up in the morning, I'll have a cup of coffee, and then I work out, and either I run or I do yoga or I do something. Whatever I do is pretty intense, mm. and then uh, I do podcasts generally around noon. That's when I start the right. day, and uh, so I'm I've already been up for hours and hours, and sometimes I don't even eat. Until after the podcast. Sometimes I'll eat it like three. You know? Have you gone days where you don't eat at all? No. I've done that. I burn off too many calories, I think. Well, you also work out every yeah. day. I just have the hike and stuff. But I, I love days where I can totally skip all the way down because the body is still feeding off of like yeah. stored energy and stuff like yeah. that. But um but I'm also you know, I'm I'm on I'm WW guy, ambassador. So mm-hmm. that made like my reduced Eating made like staying on points like insanely easy. Right. <laughs>